The final element of effective classroom management involves procedures for monitoring student behavior. Sometimes you need objective data to determine whether a specific behavior is changing or improving. Operationally defining the behavior of interest entails articulating it in observable terms so that it can be measured objectively. Data about specific social behaviors and or academic performance allows for better decision making and can indicate whether an intervention is working or the types of adjustment that may need to be made. Formative progress data are essential for determining a student's response to intervention. Moreover, formative progress data can reveal whether a student receiving special education services is on track to meet his or her individualized education goals. In essence, successfully managing student behavior entails establishing a small number of simple rules that are applicable across a range of situations and systematically taught, much like you might teach an academic skill. Students also need feedback about the extent to which they meet your behavior expectations. In the beginning, acknowledge and praise desired behaviors frequently. When responding to problem behaviors that persist after you have taught and reinforced appropriate behaviors, consider the function of the problem behavior and respond in a manner that does not inadvertently reinforce it. Remember that punishment should be reserved for behaviors that are dangerous, highly disruptive, or that persist despite other interventions. Finally, it may be necessary to formatively monitor a student's behavior to determine whether he or she is adequately responding to intervention and making progress toward individualized education goals.